What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Rafael Nadal refuted a newspaper report that Roger Federer drove him crazy this week. A newspaper reported Nadal threw a diva fit and declined to ride a transportation van because it had rival Roger Federer's face painted on the side of it. Nadal shot down the report saying, not only is it not true, it is actually the exact opposite of reality. Rafa says he has repeatedly requested the van with Roger's face on it because it's the biggest vehicle he can get and it's more comfortable to ride in for his team. This is very stupid thing. I was in a van of picture of Roger both sides of the van like 15 times these two weeks. So that's very stupid thing. That's never happened. Nadal said. I was this car because it's bigger and I am more comfortable with this car than with the others. When an American journalist apparently not listening to Nadal's response asked, so is the report true? Nadal shooting a you cannot be serious look replied to the journalist saying, I thought my English was better. Prompting the media to laugh out loud. The highly anticipated battle of the Joker versus the Slider Man was about as absorbing as a two-page comic book. Novak Djokovic, aka the Joker, turned Slider Man Gael Monfils into his own personal punchline in dispensing a 7-6-6-1-6-2 thrashing of the flamboyant Frenchman who showed no fight after the first set. The third-seeded Serbian powered into his fourth set U.S. Open semifinal where he faced either five-time champion Roger Federer or number five seed Robin Soderling in Saturday's semifinals. Federer has ended Djokovic's New York run in each of the past three years, including a victory in the 2007 final. How bad did it get for Monty? His coach Roger Rashid essentially called out Monfils as a passionless pusher who looked resigned to suffer his fifth consecutive loss to Djokovic. I've been disappointed to be perfectly honest, Rashid told ESPN's Darren Cahill after an abysmal second set. You gotta have some authority on the game, and the person that gets after it is gonna get the job done in these conditions. Federer is 10-5 lifetime versus Djokovic, but the Serbian showman will enjoy more rest than any other semifinalist. I have two days, so I'll try to use them as best as I can to recover physically and get ready mentally for this next challenge, said Djokovic, who has been all business this tournament. Since his five-set win over Serbian Davis Cup teammate Viktor Trojki in the first round, the Joker has won 12 consecutive sets. Last year, Vera Zvonareva beat herself in a U.S. Open meltdown. Today, Zvonareva continued to save her best shots for her opponents. The seventh-seeded Russian swept Kaya Kanepi 6-3-7-5 to reach her second set major semifinal. Today's win came after Zvonareva blew six match points and suffered a tearful emotional meltdown against Flavia Panetta in slapping her leg in frustration in the fourth round loss. The Wimbledon runner-up is now one win removed from reaching her first U.S. Open final, but she may well have to beat top-seeded Caroline Wozniacki to get there. Riding a 12-match winning streak, U.S. Open Series champion Wozniacki plays 45th ranked Dominika Siblikova in tonight's quarterfinal with the winner meeting Zvonareva in the semifinals. Wozniacki beat Zvonareva in the Montreal final last month and will be favored should they square off again. Zvonareva has won all 10 sets she's played in the tournament. Caroline is a tough player because she reads the game well, so you have to be patient, but still go for your shots, Vera said. You cannot get frustrated if you're playing against anyone. If you get frustrated well, you will probably lose the match. Well, that wraps us up for today. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. And if you want to get the results of tonight's matches, log on to the Tennis Now homepage for Robin Soderling versus Roger Federer and Siblikova versus Wozniacki. I am Lauren Linton. This is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.